Hi folks, Chris Anderson again, Mount Comfort RV. I'm here to show you the outside of the 2012 Numar 4346. Obviously you've already seen the front end, one piece windshield, gorgeous paint job as I'm sure you can see over my head. Uh, not only is it my favorite floor plan, this is my favorite paint job from Numar as well. I gotta go quickly because these videos take forever to upload to YouTube, but uh, we're gonna try to give you as much information as we can in a very short amount of time. You can notice here you do have keyless entry and a doorbell built into the handle. Of course it's power steps and side cameras. You would expect to see that on here. Both of the awnings on this side are power awnings. Obviously that just makes your life that much easier. You can fill the fuel from either side of this coach. No more guessing which side or trying to angle it in at a really bad angle to get fuel. Sometimes there's just not enough room in the freezer to keep all the steaks. Well, we put a freezer right out here for you. Look at the storage on this coach. Obviously you have a pull out joey bed. This goes out either side of the coach here. This house has a central back and you can probably see the dirt devil in there for it. This has a humongous storage area and a, a little pegboard back here for hanging your tools on as well. Notice this is a tag axle coach, aluminum wheels, Michelin tires, and when you're talking Newmar, notice the way their slides fit flush. They don't have to use the big piece that overlaps the other one to keep it from leaking. When they're built right, you can just make a flush mount slide. We'll walk around to the back here. This has a Cummins 450 horse engine in it. Beautiful rear cap design. Lots of breathability for the engine there. This is a side radiator coach. The radiator's off to the side here. So if you want to get in here and do any of your own service, you certainly have accessibility to do that. We'll walk up here and take a look at the water station. You have a whole house water filtration system here. Obviously everything is extremely well well labeled. You don't have to remember what knob does what or what valve does what. It's all right there labeled for you. They made this little cushion here to bring your hose through and you bring your sewer hose up from the bottom and you can still be at the campground with your door shut. This is a power cord reel. This is a hydronic heating system in this so you don't have to listen to that furnace cycle on and off all night long and you have unlimited hot water usage on this coach. As you can see from the other side the storage this is a full wall slide, window awnings all around. I hope that gives you enough to get, uh, to get you in here to take a look and see this coach in person. Again, thanks for watching. My name is Chris with Mount Comfort RV. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Anderson from Mount Comfort RV. Today we're going to show you the 2012 Newmar Dutch Star 4346. This is absolutely my favorite floor plan in the lineup for this year. It's a new floor plan for 2012. I think you're really going to like it. Um, up front, nothing overly new here. We have a sofa and dinette slide, and we have a small love seat across from it. So you've got a wonderful area for entertaining your guests. We did option this in with the tile floor throughout the coach. Notice how little carpet there is throughout here, so you don't have to worry about anybody tracking anything yet. The dinette, this is an invention by Malin Miller himself, and where when you have this credenza style dinette, most of them, you know, this is one position and then you can pull it out another six or eight inches and, and, and get a little more room. With this one, look how far out this comes. This is a technology exclusive to Numar. They used Corian that kind of works like a roll top desk. It rolls back into the wall, which is a nice, nice setup. Obviously you have a midship television here, a nice size Sony, they don't use any off brands. And then over here we have one of my favorite features. If you want to have a second television, all you do is hit the button on the televator and from nowhere comes a beautiful television. Notice how quiet and smoothly that works, that's just new mark quality. And just like that, you're ready to watch some TV 
uh, and a second location up front here. This has a bathroom in the middle. This is a little half bath. Got a molded Corian sink in here as well. Plenty of room for this. We have a residential refrigerator with the freezer below. This is actually an island that pulls out. It has little lockable wheels on it. You can put it anywhere you want it in the coach and lock it down. Okay. Back to the bedroom, we have a king size bed. Still plenty of walk room in here. Look how far, I'm not a skinny guy and there's a lot of room in here to walk around. Another Sony television, at least a 32 incher there, that's huge. Notice I still haven't stepped on any carpet. We're coming back, we're still on tile floor. This is a bath and a half configuration, so here's your main bath. It's got a huge shower. This is all one piece molded, so no chance for any leaks. And then the feature you'll see nowhere else, it actually has a rear walk-in closet. I'm going to get out of the way and just talk. You have a stackable washer dryer, tons of hanging space both across the back wall and on the roadside wall, nice little cubbies for shoes, what have you. Um, towel spots, a spot back here for like a linen closet type setup. Those are adjustable shelves so you can adjust the height to wherever you want. This is just, like I said, absolutely my favorite Newmar floor plan and uh, I hope it gives you a good idea of uh, what Newmar was trying to accomplish with this. This is, I think, by far the most full-time livable uh, motorhome floor plan that perhaps they've ever made. Folks, that about covers it. Oh, one more feature right this way. Before I forget, we did option this in with the MCD power shades. You just hit a couple of buttons here. And look around at all the shades going down in the coach. How easy is that? Wow. It's not just for the nighttime shades. You can do the daytime shades that way as well. And there's a control for this in the bedroom right above the bed where you don't even have to get out of the bed in the morning to control your shades. I hope you enjoyed this. Any questions, please give us a call at Mount Comfort RV. Thank you.